If you could own a kilo of any element, what would it be and why? And it can't be for financial gain. I think um, I'm not sure that I really want to own a kilo of any element. We were given a kilo of one of the rare earth elements, and we're still quite not quite sure what to do with it. Which element? I think it's homium. It's it's carefully locked away in Neil's lab, but. Um, I've never been terribly excited about collecting samples of all the elements, though it is quite fun to have small samples of them. Do you dream about science, like at night? Sometimes. Um, I dream about all sorts of things. Do you have a common dream, like a recurring dream or an anxiety dream? or? Not particularly, but I'm interested when I dream in colour, or sometimes I dream in foreign languages. And What do you mean dream in colour? Does that mean you sometimes dream in black and white? Well, sometimes I don't remember whether I have dreamt in colour. And other times I have very vivid memories of the colour. Okay. And... Um, you don't have dreams like that you're back at school and haven't studied for exams or things like that? Um, I sometimes have dreams that I'm meant to give a lecture and I haven't prepared the slides and so on. But um, I forget that sometimes I've had to give talks with very little preparation. And in fact, giving talks without slides is in some ways quite liberating. What do you enjoy doing in your free time away from chemistry? If you ask my wife, she would say, I don't have any free time because I'm obsessed with chemistry. But I enjoy helping my wife in the garden. I enjoy going for walks in the country. And I also enjoy reading. We have a very large number of books in our house. And so I read quite a lot. What shampoo do you use for your hair? And do you have some fun chemical facts regarding shampoo? I'm not very fussy with the sort of shampoo that I use, though I think normally I use a sort called head and shoulders because that's what my wife uses. But the reason that I think it's chemically quite interesting is because in the old days, and I don't know if it's still the case, Head and shoulders used to contain a compound of selenium and sulfur, a ring of eight atoms. Seven of them were sulfur and the eighth was selenium, which was good for killing the bacteria that cause dandruff. And when I lectured about selenium, I would suddenly show a slide of head and shoulders shampoo and the students would all go, Ah, oh. if Head and Shoulders would like to sponsor periodic videos, I'll uh, I'll put an email address there. Get in touch. We'd love some support. <laughs> they just got a great free advertisement. Who styles your hair? When I was a student in my first year at university, I went to a barber and had my hair cut. And when I came back, my then girlfriend, who's now my wife, said it looked awful and she could do better. So she cut it and she's been cutting my hair ever since. So I haven't been to a barber for more than 55 years. <laughs> the questions in this little series were mostly submitted by our Patreon supporters and I'm going to put some extra exclusive questions and answers just on Patreon for them to see. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, I'll include links in all the usual places. Not only are you supporting our videos, but you could see your name appear here on our website or here on our famous periodic table of patrons. They're going to let me touch it with my hands. Watch carefully. It's the only time in my life I'm going to wash my hands in diamonds. 
feels just like sand. It's quite strange. It feels a bit like metal. 